Hey, everybody, Ann here, and good morning. It is first thing in the morning. The sun just came up, and this is what I look like first thing in the morning before I brush my hair. And this is as bad as it gets. <laughs> Anyhow, I just want to let you know that the van is up and running again. They were able to get the, um, the what you call it, the serpentine belt on. The tensioner pulley was on a couple days ago. The problem that they were having is it's just so tight up there in the front of that engine. It's hard to, even with a, like um, one of those breaker bar thingies, um, there was just one spot that they just couldn't get the belt up over. But they were able to take this big thing off the top of the engine, a big plastic thing. I don't know what it is, but <laughs> I need to learn this shit. Um, they were able to take that off and that gave them a little bit more room to work and they got the belt on fired it right up and you know what one thing I've noticed is the heat seems to blow a little bit more forcefully that I've never had a lot of air coming out um, so I don't know if that has something to do with it um, maybe you know the the belt wasn't pulling properly over that one thing I don't know but um, so it's working and I'm gonna try and get out today it's gonna be hard luckily the van is pointed up towards the road so I won't have to do a lot of maneuvering to get out, but it, um, it's been raining here for like two or three days, and it is wet, it is soggy. Andy almost got stuck getting out, and he's in a four-wheel drive truck. Um, and my land is just, it's just one big mud pit <laughs> right now. So um, I'm going to have to park on top of the road, um, you know, when it rains like this, because I'll just miss, miss work. Um, it's just too muddy, it's too slick, it's like snide, it's slimy, and it's not like driving on snow like I've told you before. But I have made a decision. I know I said that I would never go back to nursing again. Never, ever again. Well, I have to set my discomfort aside with some of the aspects of being a nurse. I love taking care of patients. You know, I... I, that's been my passion, but all the other stuff that surrounds it, you know, I mean, some nurses can be the worst mean girls, and, and the term, nurses eat your young, eat their young, it is absolutely, honest to God, the truth, um, especially with, you know, the nurses around my age, we kind of have the same attitude, you know, it's all about the patients, it's not about, you know, where you have to go, or how nasty the job is, or, because <clears throat> I do home care, it's just about going out and taking care of patients. Well, there's some nurses out there who aren't willing to do that. And so us old gals end up getting all the the challenging cases. <laughs> but, um, you know, I have to put some of that stuff aside. You know, and nurses, they can be mean girls. They are the worst of the mean girls. You know, they are, they're supposed to be kind and warm and giving, um, but like I said, you know, us old school nurses, we still got that in us. It seems like a lot of the new breed that come out these days, I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully it's not as widespread as I see it actually working in the profession, but it's hard. They can be catty. The saying that nurses eat their young, it is absolutely 100% the truth. And here, let me get a drink of coffee. I'm having my coffee with you guys this morning. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. Gotta have my coffee in the morning. But, um, you know, and jealousy and backbiting and, you know, there's politics involved. And I am completely out of the politics arena, arena these days. But the politics I'm talking about is just within a company. You know, I will not lie. I will not... Um, you know, lie just to keep a patient on service longer. Um, I follow the rules. They're there for a reason. Um, because so many people and companies and whatnot have abused, you know, the Medicare and Medicaid system. That's why there's so many rules. And when you get caught not following the rules, you know, I, what I say is if you don't like the rules, then do something to change them. You know, don't just lie and let everybody think that everything is okay as far as, you know, what you can do for a patient, what you can't do for a patient, how long you can do something for a patient. So my dispassion for nursing doesn't involve the patients or their families. I love that part of nursing and I miss it terribly. So 
I put my nursing license on an active status and very soon here um, I just need to get get the money up for it I'm gonna get it reinstated and then I'm gonna get it transferred to Tennessee so that I can go back to work as a nurse and earn some real money and maybe do some real good in this community give back to and I want to I almost want to start crying when I think about it how much people have helped me there's some good folk out here you know Don and Andy and Doug and Violet and Denise and Sheen and you know and John hi John <laughs> you're a good guy too um, it's, they've all just been really helpful to me. You know, they've let me kind of lean on them a little bit. And I'm not used to that. I don't like the feeling of having to lean on buddy, on anybody, but what a relief that they've been here for me because whew, I don't know what I would have done. Anyhow, um, in a few minutes here, I'm going to go let my neighbor's dogs out and see what the chickens are up to and the kitties and the kitties. See, that's one bonus too is my next door neighbor. She lives and works in town most of the time, and she's going to be coming back here and hopefully putting a mobile home out on her land, but um, I've been helping taking care of her animals that are still here when she's not able to, and um, that's a lot of fun for me. You know, she keeps offering me stuff, you know, saying, well, you can have this, or here, do this, or let me give you some money, and I'm like, I feel very uncomfortable about the money situation. <laughs> Uh, she absolutely doesn't have to give me anything because just giving me um, the electricity to keep that little heater running is enough. It saved my butt. Now, for the last few nights, it's been kind of warm here. I haven't had to use the heater, so that's kind of awesome. Oh, look, goodness gracious, I look so ugly when I cry. See, that's why I like to smile more because it makes me feel better. And frowning and crying, it doesn't make me feel good. Although, although... Crying does release a little bit of tension, so that's a good thing. Anyhow, um, I'm just looking forward to getting some money. You know, if I go back to work as a nurse, I will be able to afford to do the things I need to do to this land and help other people out with things that they need help with. And I think I can overlook the... I can overlook the things that... Truck coming by. Um, I can overlook the things that cause me discomfort. Um, I need to learn to set boundaries. And um, I've always been one of those nurses that says yes to everything. Sure, I'll go do that. You know, I'll go to that bar and poke that person with a needle because you can't find them at home. <laughs> you know, I'll do just about anything. And sometimes that wears you down. I need to learn to say no every once in a while. And um, anyhow, I've talked for long enough. It's been for over eight minutes. Just want to let you know that, yes, the van is up and running again. And yes, I'm going to get my nursing license back and, and find my passion and my purpose again. So that's all I got for you guys. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.